On this diagram, you are looking from the posterior surface of the cervical spine with the spinous processes removed to be able to identify the ligaments in between the atlanto occipital and the atlanto axial joint and the zygapoposeal joints as well between the cervical vertebrae. Just for a bit of orientation, this is the occipital bone or the base of the skull. This is the back of the atlas. This is the axis. And this is going to be the third cervical vertebra. And once again, you've removed the spinous process to be able to see the following ligaments. As you can identify, there are some capsules in between all the joints. They're very similar, but they'll be having different names. This is the capsule between the atlanto occipital joint. And this is the capsule between the plantu axial joint and this is the, the zygapophyseal joint capsule. There are a few ligaments here to identify between the atlas and the axis, and there are basically three ligaments. This one is called the cruciate ligament, and as the name entails, it's cruciate in color, it's cruciate in shape. So it has an ascending limb a descending limb and a transverse limb. Just anterior to it, you can see this is the alar ligament attached to the odontoid pig. And just to the anterior to it, this one is going to be a posterior longitudinal ligament, which is more clear here as a posterior longitudinal ligament. Number six is the tectorial membrane. So to summarize these structures, one, two, and three are the capsules between the joints. This is the atlanto occipital joint, atlanto axial joint, and the zygapophyseal joint. Cruciate ligament, descending limb, and the transverse limb. This is alar ligament on both sides, and this is posterior longitudinal ligament, and that's much more clear here. And this is the tectorial membrane.